Navigating deep waters, understanding out of your depth. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase that's as intriguing as it is commonly used, out of your depth. Join us as we unravel its meanings, origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversations. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding such phrases will not only boost your fluency but also enrich your understanding of the English language. So, let's dive right in. The phrase, out of your depth, is used to describe a situation where someone is in a position that is too difficult for them to handle or beyond their capabilities. It paints a vivid picture of being in water too deep, where one cannot feel the bottom, symbolizing a lack of control or comfort. This metaphor extends to any context where a person feels overwhelmed, lacking the necessary skills, knowledge, or experience. While the exact origins of the phrase are hard to pin down, it clearly draws from the literal experience of being in water where one cannot reach the bottom, posing a risk of drowning. This imagery has been used metaphorically for centuries to describe situations where individuals find themselves beyond their comfort zone or expertise. It reflects the universal experience of facing challenges that are daunting, making it a relatable and enduring expression. To help you grasp how to use, out of your depth, let's look at a few examples. 1. In a new job, when I first started my job as a software developer, I felt completely out of my depth, but with time, I grew into the role. 2. In academic contexts, taking an advanced mathematics course without the basics can leave you feeling out of your depth. 3. Personal relationships. I found myself out of my depth when I tried to give legal advice to a friend, realizing I had no expertise in the matter. These examples show that feeling out of your depth can occur in various aspects of life, emphasizing the importance of recognizing one's limits and seeking growth or support. Feeling out of your depth isn't always a negative experience. It can be a powerful motivator for learning and personal development. Here are a few strategies to manage these situations. Acknowledge your feelings. Recognize that it's okay to feel overwhelmed. Seek help. Don't hesitate to ask for assistance or mentorship from more experienced individuals. Learn and adapt. Use the opportunity to acquire new skills and knowledge. Give yourself time, remember, Becoming proficient in anything takes time and patience. In wrapping up, out of your depth is a phrase that beautifully captures the feeling of being in situations that challenge our capabilities. It serves as a reminder that it's okay to face difficulties and that these moments can lead to significant growth and learning. We hope this video has shed light on the phrase and inspired you to embrace the challenges that come your way with confidence and curiosity. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.